This is my official I Eat My Words Logan Paul You Are Awesome video that every YouTuber needs to make because not one of us thought, for real, not one of us thought that Logan Paul was going to be as awesome as he was and as respectful as he was. You're like, respectful? Yeah, he really is. The way he treats the business is so refreshing and i'm not gonna say it's exclusive to him because bad bunny did the same thing but for real for the longest time we wrestling fans have had to put up with celebrities coming in just for the money or just to make fun of us basically not put in the effort not do anything just kind of like phone it in come in name recognition blah 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 and they leave and it's like they take a spot of one of our stars and it's like, they didn't even respect the business. And you took a spot? You took someone's spot and you didn't even respect it? I would say Lawrence Taylor, WrestleMania 11, I believe. The dude did try. I would give him that. But he didn't really set the world on fire. But that's okay. Like I said, he did try. Everybody else, though, for the most part, whenever a celebrity comes in, it's like, oh, I don't want this. But Bad Bunny, he came in. I was ready to say, this sucks. This is a horrible idea. But Bad Bunny... Very impressed, especially when he did that Canadian Destroyer. Very impressed. I was like, okay, Bad Bunny gets the pass. But then Logan Paul. Logan Paul. You know, the Paul brothers from YouTube said he was going to be signing, coming in to wrestle. I was like, this is going to be bad. This is just a cash grab, a PR stunt. It's This sucks. I was so just ready to just... Twitter away, <laughs> you know, a mad tweet <laughs> and that Logan Paul sucks and that we should never have him again and he was disrespectful, blah, 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 blah. I was ready. I, I was ready and then it happened. He performed very well and not just very well but good he had great ring ability he had great ring psychology he had character he could be on the mic he showed up to events he looked like he was invested you could tell that yeah he was having a good time and nothing wrong with that and yeah he was promoting his stuff whether it be his brand or his energy drink. But again, nothing wrong with that because of how he did it. He did it in such a manner. It came part of the character. And Logan Paul, I know you'll never see this, but I am sorry because you, my friend, are really awesome. You are currently my number two favorite wrestler right behind Drew McIntyre. Uh, the Tribal Chief is not around right now, so he doesn't count. So right now it's Drew McIntyre, then Logan Paul, and if I really had to sit down and, and make a list, Logan Paul might be even my number one. They're neck and neck right now. I cannot believe that. Logan Paul. Logan Paul. But I don't want to just apologize. I want to show you guys to reflect upon the awesomeness that is Logan Paul. I want to talk about five moments of Logan Paul's short career that were just, that just exemplifies how great he is. In no particular order, I'm just grabbing them out randomly. I'll do one from the last SmackDown, but the first one I want to talk about is when he beats Rey Mysterio for the U.S. title. <laughs> He beats Ray, right? And he beats him with the brass knuckles. And it's so funny because afterwards he goes up to Ray and says, Hey, Ray, like Ray's like kind of like, you know, he's knocked out. And he's like, Ray, you did a really good job. Like that was a great match. Way to go, Ray. He's acting like the face. He doesn't have a microphone. So it's just the camera audio. And it's almost like, I don't even know if that was rehearsed or that was part of the plan, but it just, he just goes to him. Right. And it could have easily been overlooked. He's like, you did a really good job I love that it shows how much of a heel that he really is because he totally cheats and then he says Ray that was very competitive and I appreciate the match you gave me that was awesome the next one I want to talk about this was the contract signing with Cody Rhodes the crowd is just booing him right not as much as they would Dominic Mysterio but they are booing him to a very like similar level he can't talk he can't this boo boo and he just keeps like picking up the mic he has to put it down because he's just getting booed out of the building and then one time he just grabs the mic he kind of just like goes like this what a horrible crowd <laughs> that, 
I don't know. That made me laugh. Usually you want to say something really bad about the crowd. Oh, you're all fat. You're uneducated. No, right? You want to insult them. But no, he just says, what a horrible crowd. Such a uh, maybe like low level insult that it kind of becomes a high level insult. <laughs> What just what a horrible crowd. Just a, a judgment on them, right? He doesn't he doesn't need to insult them. He's just judging. This this crowd sucks. I, I don't even know why I'm here. Loved it. The his deliverance. Ah oh, man, that was good. The number three moment is when he was a good guy and never, please, never make Logan Paul a good guy unless it's ten years from now when everybody knows how great and respectful of the business he is. For real, he's a good guy, but he still was able to have a Logan Paul moment. You have the tribal chief. I recognize Roman Reigns as my tribal chief. You have the tribal chief and all of his tribal chief goodness and seriousness at the press conference for their Saudi Arabia crown jewel match and Logan Paul comes in on a camel. <laughs> he comes in on a camel and just the, just the audacity of him. Like, you're coming on a camel, dude. And then he's like, woo, let's go, baby. <laughs> you know, I loved it because not just because I love Logan Paul, the audacity, but, but you see Roman, he's just like looking at him like, who is this Joker? Why am I fighting this guy? The reaction he got out of the tribal chief is what made me laugh the hardest. And if Logan Paul can make Roman do that, well, Thumbs up. Fourth one is when he was feuding with Seth Rollins. <laughs> and I'm sorry, every time I, I just think of these things and it just cracks me up. It really does. No joke, I'm not acting. I just like, I say it and it just it brings me right back to that moment. He goes to Seth Rollins, he tells Seth, and he's trying to compliment him, right? He's trying to compliment him. Seth, you are one of the top three wrestlers in the world. <laughs> That was so funny. That's like when Stephanie called Daniel Bryan a B-plus player. You're not just a B player. You're a B-plus, a high B-plus. It was such an insult, a backhanded compliment. And he delivered it, though, way better than Stephanie. Because you knew, you just knew that it was an insult. That Stephanie knew it was an insult. But from Logan Paul, when he said it to Seth, it kind of came across like... He didn't realize he was actually insulting him by calling him top three. Because nobody wants to be like, oh, you're the number two guy. Nobody wants it. Even though there's nothing wrong. Hey, I'd love to be the number two YouTuber in existence. You know, Pepsi to Coke. Pepsi makes a lot of money. I'll, I'll take number two money any day of the week. But Seth Rollins... On the other hand, he doesn't, he views himself as top dog. And for him to say that, hey, you're top three, not even top two. <laughs> you're not, you're the second best behind me. No, he's like top three. <laughs> That was such a beautiful insult, and the, the thing that's just great about it is Logan Paul doesn't even realize when he says it that he insulted him. He just keeps going. He didn't, he didn't realize that he insulted the guy, and that makes, that makes it even worse. It's like when Roman's like, I haven't even been thinking about you. Like, you want revenge on somebody? All you can think about is revenge? And then Thanos says to you, I don't even know who you are. That that right there <laughs> that is like oh and the last moment number five is ricochet at SummerSlam. i was gonna do the bald head shine thing but actually i'm doing the samantha irvin thing when he pins ricochet and samantha irvin she does her job hey your winner logan paul but then then Logan goes to her again and says, say it again, say it, because if you don't know, they're engaged. Samantha and Ricochet, they are engaged, they are a couple. And when Logan Paul is just telling her, say it again, say my name again, and you just see Samantha, mm -mm, mm -mm. After WrestleMania 40, we have all have fallen in love with Samantha Irvin's ability, her, her announcing abilities, and the fact that she just, she's a true fan. She is a true fan, and she can't help but to actually display emotions. And her emotion of disgust at Logan Paul winning or saying, say it again, great. And she didn't say it, and Logan Paul just said, yeah, whatever, whatever. It was just, it was just great. Again, was it planned? Who knows? But it didn't look it. It looked like so, so in the moment. And it wasn't like he had the mic. It's these little details that when the microphone is off, Logan Paul still going. 
he is still going. That's just five moments, but I could have done more. I could have done his Eddie Aguero impression during his debut, all of his just buying the prime ring uh, advertisement. There is way more. I'll do another Logan Paul video just, just showcasing just how much of a heel this guy is. He's a true heel. He is someone that people still love to hate, and I'm... Logan Paul, thank you for treating our business with respect. I, like, for real, I cannot, I do not have the words to express how much it means to me that you would do that. And just thank you. You're awesome. And I'll, I'm, I drink Red Bull, but I might be switching to Prime because I, I acknowledge Logan Paul and his wrestling ability, his wrestling character, and I acknowledge you, Logan Paul, just like I hope you guys acknowledge the subscribe button. I hope we get some comments. We're on the road to 10,000 subscribers. Once I hit 10,000 subscribers, I'm going to give away that belt randomly to people who comment in videos, and I'll announce the winner on video. I won't announce it in the in the comments. It's always going to be on video, so make sure you always stay tuned. Guys, girls, thank you for joining me. I hope you have a great day.